since I remember myself, I, I was just get, holding a pen and just <laughs> sketching and drawing. I wasn't like the other kids. They liked football and everything else. Half of the time I was daydreaming, <laughs> looking at the sky, making a ship with the clouds. <laughs> the majority of the time I was uh, drawing and sketching. And My mom always said, uh, because I'm really dyslexic, like really dyslexic, <laughs> Uh, she said, um, how on earth do you know how to draw a bird in the sky and look, uh, it looks so nice and you can't even write something <laughs> correctly. You cannot remember the spelling right. If you're not really good with words, it's good to have something to make you express your feelings. Maybe that's poetry or that's painting, music. <laughs> For me, it was art. I started with birds, then horses. <laughs> They're really mysterious animals and big animals and peaceful animals. I studied in the uh, University of Hertfordshire in Hatfield. It was different from what I knew in Puffer's small town. I was living in London and then I used to go to Hatfield every day to university. It was really different for me. So many people, you're nothing. And it was really nice to have that and work with other people that you never dreamed of uh, working with. At first, I wanted to do something different. I tried to study faces. Then my professors and lecturers looked at my paintings. They, they said, you're going to be really good at sculpture because of the shades I was putting in the paintings. So I started doing sculpture. And then I moved to installation and I really enjoyed it. It was something I really liked. And it was really inspirational, especially when you go to London, uh, central London, you just get from everywhere inspiration. The galleries and everything, uh, it was really <laughs> inspirational, yes. I liked it, yeah, but I, I don't know if I could live there because it's too busy for me. I like slow life and the out, out, outdoors and there was an opportunity with Pafos de Caifta, uh, Art in Action. So I went there, I did the uh, celloist with the dog and then I uh, fell in love with the whole stencil and graffiti work. That's what expressed me the most. Uh, mostly Bansky, I think. He was, <laughs> he was the, the one to, that influenced me a lot. But not only graffiti artists influenced me, other artists did. The donkey <laughs> and the ticket. When I was in the UK, everything was so strict. If you do just a mistake, you, you will regret it. <laughs> so I came here, they were uh, parking. But I didn't know this, noticed it before I, I went to England. And when I came back, it was so frustrating because they would park on the zebra crossing, they would park double yellow line. They <laughs> so that's how I get inspiration from. Maybe things that I get annoyed by, maybe some things I find funny, people being funny about money, and things from your conscience. I want to make them think. I, I don't just want to do something that it's just nice and it's pretty and they just like it. Sitting there and just observing people, uh, looking at them, and I take that and I put it in my work. I was, uh, I was thinking about this, uh, technology that has taken over our lives. I'm thinking of the old age that they didn't have all this good equipment to do stuff and they did so many great things and we've got so many technology around us and we, we can't really do it like do a masterpiece. I was influenced by classical music. The idea just came <laughs> in my mind. That was the concept behind it. I don't think that I can work without music. It relaxes me. Usually uh, I listen to classical, a little bit of jazz, and the hits that play in the radio, every, everything. <laughs> it depends on my uh, mood. Art in Action, I'm in a team with two other artists. We're trying to do a wall next to the amphitheater, 46 meters of wall. We're trying to do graffiti there. It's really nice uh, to work with them. I want to do a gallery. That's my dream. <laughs> in a gallery in Pavos.